yo, E-King Fight News. Let's get into it. Bob Arum has a plan for Anthony Joshua. That's right. Because he holds a hand in the IBF mandatory position. And the IBF might be due very soon. So, hey, it's E-King Fight News. And you know we got more on this. All right. So, Bob Arum is looking to push... Kubrat Pulev. Kubrat Pulev. Man. These bum ass heavyweights still hanging around. Pulev's and fucking Marius Wax and fucking all these hoes. All these fucking hoes out here getting in the way. Of a Deontay, get get in the way of a Deontay Wilder Anthony Joshua fight, or you know potential. And at the end of the day, people also want to see Anthony Joshua Tyson Fury fight. They want to see all three of these guys fight each other. Bob Arum, you got Tyson Fury. You got Tyson Fury, but you want to make Pulev versus AJ. I know why. And it's E. King Fight News. Let's get into it. It's very interesting how things are playing out. Bob Arum uh, now getting into the heavyweight division. Signed Tyson Fury. And he's looking to build up that fight in a rematch with none other than Deontay Wilder. That is the pay-per-view rematch. That holds a lot of value. Right? You can't. Can't take that away. Both these guys had a disputed draw. You know, under whatever circumstances, whoever you thought should have won this fight, there needs to be a rematch because the official verdict was a draw, right? Just like, you know, Pacquiao had a disputed, controversial decision against Tim Bradley in that first fight. They ended up fighting three times. Good old Bobby. Made sure we got a rematch, (laughs) you know? So it is what it is. We're we're probably going to end up seeing that rematch at some point. Um, I'm not sure what these time frames are. It feels like Tyson Fury is asking for a little bit too much when it comes to making these big fights happen. That's what Eddie Hearn's saying. Shelly Finkel, on the other hand, hasn't really talked about uh, the progress towards a Wilder Fury rematch. That fight was on the table. And we all know what happened. But let's get into it. Bob Arum's got a plan for Anthony Joshua. And this is it. Y'all know what it is. Well, this is it. This is the plan. <laughs> Yo, get this dude the fuck out of here, man. Kubrat Pulev. Get this dude all the way. The fuck out of here, man. Ain't nobody want to see Kubrat Pulev, man. Kubrat Pulev, yeah, he did beat up on uh, Tyson Fury's cousin, Huey Fury. He did beat him up. He beat, he beat, he got on some, you know, he even hit him with some elbows in that fight, man. But ain't nobody want to see Kubrat Pulev once again in the main event. Same guy that got knocked the fuck out by old man Klitschko back in the day. Old man Vladimir Klitschko said, you know what? I don't even need to box this dude. I'm going to knock him the fuck out. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. This is, this, is a, this is a mismatch. This fight right here is a mismatch. Bob Arum knows it, and this is what he had to say. He's the IBF mandatory to Joshua. Joshua's fighting June 1st. We probably would look to give Pulev another fight before challenging Joshua, but we'll see. You see that? When you know it's a mismatch, you say some shit like, oh, you know, we got to try and get, we'll probably try and give him another fight. You know, we got, we got to give him another fight, maybe. Get this dude the fuck out of here, man. But we'll see. Pulev is not easy. Dinu has got a pretty good record. He's a pretty good fighter. But we're definitely going to look to do the Joshua fight within the year. And unlike Mr. Heyman, Joshua is controlled by Eddie Hearn and the zone. So we would look to do that fight with them because they are clearly the A-side. We're not going to play games. And I'm sure Eddie will be fair in that respect. 
you know. And Aram is saying, yeah, you know, we're willing to do that fight on the zone. I mean, you've got to be stupid. Look, I mean, the zone fighters fight on ESPN when the economics dictate, like with Anthony Krola, who's fighting Vasily Lomachenko. Clearly, Lomachenko is the A side, and Krola is fighting on our terms. If we put it on September, this would be the last fight for Pulev prior to the fall fight with Joshua. This is correct. It would be the next fight, and we would certainly push that as the next fight, and hopefully it works out that it is the next fight for AJ. But the point is we're not going to go to war on these things. We're going to be cooperative. It's good for the sport. We're going to make this bum-ass fight. Man, this is the kind of bullshit AJ needs to wake up to, man. And it seemed like he's satisfied, you know, with wake, with making the money he's making, fighting these tomato can mandatories, man. Wilder's in the same situation, right? He seems to be satisfied, you know, getting Brazil out of the way. And my question for him is, who's next? Who's next, Deontay? That's my question. Who's Deontay Wilder's fighting next? Uh, and, and we want answers. We want answers to all these questions, man. And for Deontay Wilder, is it going to be Kowanowski? AJ, if AJ Pulev happens, does that give him an excuse to fight a Kowanowski? And it's, fun, it's, it's funny, too, because some people think Kowanowski can, can beat Wilder. There are people out here that really believe this Polish dude can knock Wilder out. Now, that's funny to me. Because if there's a market for this shit, that's how these fights are going to happen. If, if someone's out here predicting Kowanowski to pull a knockout and a hype train comes around these these bum, <laughs> these you know these other guys, then there's going to be a market for the fight. That's how, That's how this shit happens. You know, that, and, and hey, if y'all going to buy into it, then shit. We're going to end up seeing Deontay Wilder versus Adam Kowalski, and he just might kill the dude. <laughs> Guy just might die in the ring because of you guys. Thought he could beat Wilder. Get the fuck out of here, man. There's two guys out here that has... A fighting chance to beat Deontay Wilder. Two guys. One of them is named Tyson Fury. And the other is named Luis King Kong. <laughs> yo, RT, RT, yo, you give Ortiz a rematch, you never know what's going to happen. You give King Kong Luis Ortiz a rematch, and you never know what can happen. Luis Ortiz has the ability, skill set, to potentially defeat a Deontay Wilder. I can't say. I don't know if I can say the same. About Anthony Joshua. I don't know if I can say the same about this dude. But it would be a good fight. It For damn sure it would be a good fight. And you know what. I'm just playing with y'all. AJ, AJ you know. If they actually made the fight. I, I can't sit here and say. You know it's a whitewash. You know that could actually be a very competitive fight. There's a reason why we want to see it, right? Well, Wilder dust him off in three rounds. AJ seems to be a, a little bit better than that. You know, he's he's above the level of Malik Scott, fucking um, some of the other guys. Uh, Bermain Stavern, like AJ's above Bermain Stavern, right? Like he's above, technically, above guys like, you know, Fucking Chris Ariolas and fucking Seth Mitchells. You know. Marius Wax, Johan de Hoppus, right? Somehow AJ has, you know, he he's 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 made his way. And he's he's been able to collect. This dude's a belt collector, man. He's been able to collect all these random ass belts. He's got the IBO. He's got the WBA, you know, all this extra shit, man. Okay, okay. You got all the, you got all the, you got all the belts. But 
What else does AJ have? He's got he's got to deal with Jarrell Miller. Jarrell Miller. I mean, what do you, I, I try I, I, live chat? What do y'all think? Anthony Joshua, Jarrell Miller, who wins that fight? Cause that's supposed to be AJ's easy fight. That's supposed that's supposed to be his easy fight. But now you talking about Pulev? Ain't nobody want to see Kubrat Pulev, man. Point blank. And P- Ain't nobody want to see Kubrat Pulev up in there. I hope he loses tonight against Bogdan Dinu. But he'll probably whoop his ass, too, because I know he's a bum. And y'all know what it is, man. Heavyweight division. It's, get, it's starting to get real fucked up right now, man. Who do you, you want to see Wilder fight after Dominic Brazil? Who's getting that smoke? Tyson Fury fucking fighting Tom. Fuck who? Who is Tyson Fury fighting? Ah, oh, everyone wants to take a bum fight now, man. It's unbelievable. But it's C King Fight News. Let me know what you guys think. Hey, smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You already know what it is. And of course, what do y'all think about Bob Arum? trying to push this fake ass fight man yo get the ibf title the fuck out of here man ain't nobody give a shit just yo just yo back in the day when we had real fucking champions you know what lennox lewis did he said fuck these hoes i'm gonna drop this title because it don't mean shit i got the belt that matters the wbc that's what lennox did y'all know what it is it's e king fight news peace